If you thought creating and selling merch would be hard, you'd be mistaken. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created my own merch and got it ready for selling headache free and simply for free. What's up everyone, it's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button and stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you want a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. I always encourage anyone who is looking to make a full-time career online to have multiple streams of income. My current business model has about five streams of income and selling products or merch is one of those streams that support my business so that I can keep making videos like this. So I sell my merch online using a spread shop, which is also this video's sponsor. So I'll kind of be talking about them throughout the entire video. Now let's skip the fluff and stuff and let me show you how you can easily create designs and set up your own shop. Let's get going. So this is the spread shop website. You're going to open your own merch shop and register now. I'm going to create a brand new account because like I said, it's free. So I'm gonna basically start from scratch and show you guys how easy it is from scratch. Just put in your name, email, confirm you're not a robot and get started. All right, so the first step is we are going to create products. So on the side, you see this t-shirt. It's gonna have you upload your own designs. So when you're getting ready to upload a design, you have to have a design. <laughs> So I actually made all of my designs on Canva, super easy. Actually, the ones that are currently in my shop, I think like two of them used graphics that I received from my uh, graphic designer who did my website. So two of them have those graphics and then anything with text I made on Canva. So let me open up Canva. So we're gonna go to Canva. We're gonna create a new design. So in the top right, it says create a design. You're going to click there and choose custom size and do 4,000 by 4,000. I'm pretty sure this is the max that you can upload in Spreadshop. So it's gonna have a blank design and if you wanna search for templates, you could literally look up like mug designs and it'll show up a few mug designs that you could throw up there if you'd like. I think this one's cute, so we're just gonna use this one for now, click on that. And I wanna make it a little bit bigger um, because I really want it to fill up the design of whatever products, merch that I'm making. And let's bring that over and center it. Perfect. Dose of sunshine. I wouldn't just like use the templates on Canva and just use them as is and sell all the templates as is. Obviously make changes, change up the colors, change up the text, make it your own. Templates were created for you to make them your own, for you to have a nice starting point. So obviously don't just sell all of the Canva templates. Yeah, I'm just using this as an example to show you guys quickly how you can do this. So then you're going to download and when you download it, you want to have a transparent background. So I think that might be only available for Canva Pro, but having a transparent background means that it's not saving the design with a white square. It is clear, transparent, it's just the rainbow and the text. So now I'm uploading it to Spreadshop and you'll see when it loads. So now this is what this design would look like on all of these products. So I don't really want any of these products sold. I don't want men's with the rainbow. I'm gonna get rid of the unisex, get rid of the face mask. And you can actually edit the colors that you're going to sell as well. So I'm going to customize the mug, bring the design a little bit larger. And on the top, those are default displays and the bottom is where I can deactivate colors. So I don't have to sell the red or I don't have to sell the blue mug. And you could do that with everything, with mugs, with shirts, with any sort of products. So see, we have product color. I really like these colors. Don't think the red or lime or royal blue would look good. Let's see, green. Eh, purple, purple's pretty cute, but I'm gonna get rid of that green. Cool, all those look good. And then you just keep repeating that process. Now I'm going to name my design, a dose of sunshine, add a little 
just placeholder description for now. I'll probably just put modern rainbow with a dose of sunshine. And then you have to have at least three tags to save your design. So I'm just gonna add rainbow to this and create. Boom, done. I just made all of those products. Before I set up the website, I'm gonna go back and I wanna show you guys all the different product options. So we just saw like a few t-shirts and mugs, but there's actually a lot of options you can choose from. So this is another design that I uploaded called Influence Impact Inspire. It's one that I was playing around with for my own personal website or my own personal Personal merch. Don't think I'll be using it, so I'm just using it as little playing around here. So these were like the default ones they gave me that spit out, but I want to go to the left and click all available products. And this is going to show all of the available products that Spreadshop has. So as you can see, we have anything with the toggle turned on would be sold on your website. Anything turned off would not be sold on your website. So there's a lot for you to choose from there. There's men's shirts, men's tank top, men's jackets, sweaters, women's tanks, women long sleeve, hoodies, pajamas, um, polos, socks, kids clothes now. So kids shirts, pajamas, hoodies, baby clothes. Um, we're getting to masks and accessories. So mugs, there's a bunch of different mugs and mason jars, bags. I really like that one. I like the canvas backpack. Hats, aprons, <laughs> randomly aprons more hats, bucket hat all the way, pillow covers, phone cases, more water bottle stuff, pins, dog bandanas, stickers. So as you could tell, that's a lot of ish. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Now that we've gone over all of the product options, we, on the far left, you have the orange shop symbol. So I'm going to go to my shop and start playing around with it. Okay. Okay. So I'm changing the color of the banner. I have all of my brand colors saved in Canva. So I'm gonna go to Canva, go to my brand kit and use my colors that I have saved. And oops, paste that there. So at least that bar is now on brand. Okay, so now we have the bar. I'm gonna change the background color for my products. I, you can do transparent. I think for this example purpose, I'm gonna use this yellow from my brand colors. I'm gonna bring that over oops, here, paste the hex code. And now all the background colors when it's showing a product preview will be that yellow color. And I'm loving this so far. All right, let's see what else we can do. Okay. Now um, on the far left, I'm gonna go to appearance themes and you can change the theme or the layout of your design if you want something more simplistic, a little bit more modern. Um, these are all a few of the different themes that they have. I really like impulse. So I'm going to do the impulse one. Okay. So now we're going to go to page settings, start page, and you could change what the like homepage of your website would be or what would be included. So I have like a teaser, um, this banner here, you could obviously upload a picture, have a picture there. Let me just put a placeholder picture. I'm going to put this one and see what that looks like. Cool. Good placeholder, but you could have your own image, your own text there. So the headline is welcome to the It's Modern Millie Shop. You could change the call to action for the buttons. And that's basically it. You just create the design in the shop. And when you get orders, you get a percentage of the sale and Spreadshop does all of the heavy lifting for you. Literally just providing the products, production, shipping, payment processing, all of that stuff. You don't even have to think about it. If you're somebody who's been like hesitant about selling merch, I 100% recommend this. I feel like it almost creates a sense of community with your following and with your almost tribe because it's like everybody comes together and they have that one thing in common. And that one thing in common is that merch and the, the hash holes, you know? <laughs> the hash holes are coming together and they're uniting. As of right now, Spreadshop is only one of two companies to have a direct integration with the YouTube merch shelf. So if you're a YouTuber, amazing. That's a huge advantage for you. If not, you can even integrate it onto your own personal website. So real quickly, I want to show you guys my website that I've made on Spreadshop. When you guys are watching this video, that means I officially launched my own merch shop. So you guys can check that. I'll be linking it in the YouTube merch shelf below. And I'm also going to show you guys a little bit of what my shop looks like. So I have my shop shop banner. And then these are a few of the products, like a little sneak peek at the products and the main design. So I'm going to click show all the designs. These are all the design options that are currently available on my shop. And if you go to all products, you'll see all of the products. A great thing is 
If you're not seeing a product that you just absolutely love, or if you're like, oh my gosh, I love this hash hole design, but I want it in the top corner like Millie's shirt, you can customize your own clothes. You can customize your own products with the designs on my website. So designs, choose your hash hole. Let's get rid of follow your joy and then resize it. Boom. Now you have a shirt that says hash hole in the top left. So that's just another really, really cool feature with Spreadshop is, hey, if you don't see a product that you like, just make one that you like with the designs that I've made for you guys. As of right now with my merch shop, I think there's only 10 or nine days left to get 15% off the entire store. So make sure to make sure you hop on it. <laughs> I don't know. And I want to thank Spreadshop so much for sponsoring this video so I can tell you guys more about the easiest way to create and sell your own merch. So if you guys are looking to sell your own merch, your own products, open up your own shop with Spreadshop where you can make and sell your own merch through the link below. Remember, making a Spreadshop account is free. Creating those designs, those are free. Setting up your shop is free. So if this is something you want to just like dabble in, try out, I highly recommend using Spreadshop for this. You guys can download Spreadshop through the link in the description where you can make and sell your own products. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, tap that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. It's all your joy. Bye.